So what we're going to need are uh, nine popsicle sticks. We're going to need a plastic spoon. Uh, we have six rubber bands and a soft object. Uh, I have a plastic golf ball, but you can try a pom-pom or a small ball. I've tried um, a rubber ducky. Uh, just be creative. Uh, test. You can test out different objects and see how far they're going to go. Um, and also, depending on the weight of the object, will uh, determine how far the object is going to go. So you, if you have a few different uh, supplies on hand at home, have fun and test them out. Okay, so our first step, what we're going to do, we're going to grab five popsicle sticks. And we're going to stack them together. And we're going to need two rubber bands for this part. So we're going to grab one rubber band and loop it around a few times. Depending on the rubber bands you have, whether they're small or, or large, um, if they've been used a little bit more, you're going to have to tighten them a little bit more to have them hold on to the popsicle sticks. Uh, so the more tension that you use, uh, which is uh, the tighter the rubber bands are, there's going to be more potential energy. And potential energy just means um, energy that you can use when an object is in motion. So let's see. Well, just That looks pretty sturdy to me. And we should also mention kinetic energy. And that means once we have our, our catapult built, um, when the arm, or in this case, the plastic spoon, uh, pops up uh, with the object, it's going to move faster. So we got, we got our first part done. Our next thing, we have to grab two popsicle sticks. For this, we're going to grab one rubber band and we're going to loop it around just one side. So, just a few loops. Usually it's three or four loops for me. So there we go. And we're going to, we're going to do it one more time for the last two rubber bands and um, for the last two popsicle sticks. We're going to use a rubber band the same way that we just did. So we'll loop a few times. And looks good to me. Okay. Now we're going to grab one of the two rubber band ones and we're going to put it uh, underneath our five stack one. Okay. So we're going to grab our rubber band and we're going to loop it around a few times on the side. Let's see if I can show you. So, yeah. I'll show you when each step is done, how it looks on the camera. And what we're trying to do is with the last rubber band that we have, we want to loop it around the second part. So it'll look like an X when we're done with this part. So let's get to it. And right now, uh, it's not sturdy. So it's not, the five stack is not centered. Depending on how your rubber band is again, we'll determine how many times you're going to have to loop this around. But it looks like an X. There we go. So, so the part that has the 
the stack of five popsicle sticks, what you're going to do is you're going to put it down and you're going to grab the last two popsicle sticks that we rubber banded together and we're going to slide it underneath. There we go. So, okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to grab this part here and we're going to attach it to the rubber band that we used. Okay. So, again, there we go. So, the last step is grab your plastic spoon, slide it underneath the rubber band that you used to make the X in the middle. And we want to move the plastic spoon just a little bit more so we can just have it touch the little rubber band over here. So, okay. So that's, we're, we're done with building the catapult. So the next thing is to just test it out. So I got my plastic golf ball. And I'm going to hold on to this just a little bit. So, hold it back, and there we go. Oh, 